all right guys so this right here this is my um what you call sludge protein setup basically what you do you'll take this and make sure it's sugar free by the way guys because if you don't then you're just going to be adding sugar and stuff like that a lot of carbs so try not make sure you get the sugar free and basically what you do you will put a cup of about quick oaks it really depends on how much you're going to make i do two um two days worth and so basically it's a cup of this you add all of this and and then you'll you just kind of add this as it goes basically what you're trying to look for if you've ever watched nick bear this is basically where i got this from kind of threw in some little extra things that i thought would be good with it like the honey and i think he even did the peanut butter before but it, it's really really good with the peanut butter and so i do that i do the honey but yeah basically with all this together you're probably only looking at like 15 carbs throughout this whole thing maybe 17 so it's not bad for breakfast it does kind of fill you up a little bit you also got your protein i usually do one scoop of protein in it and i usually do like a tablespoon of peanut butter sometimes a little over a tablespoon depends on how much you want it to taste like peanut butter but yeah with with this you just kind of keep it going uh pour it sorry until it's kind of basically kind of it's thick but it's not super thick um i would make it for you right now but right now all the dishes need to be cleaned so i really don't have nothing for that so this is my breakfast guys this is what i do every morning um like i said i'll make this it's good for two mornings and then i'll make another one then over here this is my supplement stack and by the way guys all this right here like this recipe right here i'm gonna have it in the description i may have like this and a few other things for links but um yeah i'm gonna leave a description kind of explaining how you make that but then also right here um I'm going to have a link on pretty much all this. I'm sorry, my dog. See, who are you doing? But um, this right here is my BCAA. Really, really good. I love it. It's the Swedish fish. Really awesome. Love it. And then I take the men's multivitamins plus test. I've loved these vitamins. I used to take the ultimate nutrition, but I found I like these a little more. Because it, you know, helps you with your test also. Super awesome. And then, of course, probably one of my favorites. I love this. It's called the Strong Greens. I recommend anybody. If there's one thing you get on this right here, I would recommend this. I love it. It really helps through the morning. It really does give you more energy. I'm trying to stop drinking um, energy drinks. And this right here really does help. Try to get that. Helps with your immune system and everything like that. Natural energy. And then... My last thing, I take this every once in a while, but it's not always my go-to every day. But it's basically um, your pre-workout. As you can see, it's the fruit punch. I love it. It tastes good. It works. It's just, it's not something I take all the time. Um, I'll take it in the morning, and maybe if I'm going on a long run because it's got the beta alanine in it. And basically what it does, it helps with your lactic acid buildup. Um, but yeah, I'll leave a link down below for all this right here. And then for my lunchtime, I found these last week. These things are awesome. They taste good. They take three minutes to cook. Let's see what you can see right here. Okay. 17 grams of protein, sugar, 13 grams, 660 grams of salt, two grams of fat and 320 calories on this whole thing now some are less some are more this does have the rice in it so it's going to have a little more carbs in it but here it is right here on the back it's not too bad 49 grams a little kind of up on the high end but it's not too bad knowing i'd take that in the morning which is only like 17 18 grams of carbs and then you take this i mean you're still under 100 grams of carbs and then you still have a lot of carbs that you can take in for lunch. I mean, dinner. But yeah, I picked these up. You can pick these up at Walmart. Um, that's where I get them at. And they're like $2.89. Super cheap, guys. I mean, way cheaper than what you're going to go if you go to Chipotle. Do something else that's going to be higher in carbs. 
more salt, more fat, just everything. This is the way to go right here, guys, if you want to save money. So that is pretty much all my supplements, all my kind of breakfast meal setups and my lunch as I, you know, I'm at work. You know, a lot of these YouTubers and stuff, you know, they pretty much stay at home all the time. So it's kind of easy for them to do all these little fancy diets and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm not blessed to have all that right now. But, yeah, I just want to kind of give y'all a review of kind of like what I'm doing right now. What has worked so far for me. And hopefully it works for y'all guys. Um, like I said, I've already lost two pounds. And I haven't even hit the gym hard. I can only imagine if I would have hit the gym hard. Ran two or three miles during that whole week. My running's only been like maybe twice a week, a mile. So I got to get back in that. I've been looking at some five mile stuff. I think I'm probably going to wait to, you know, another two months or so before I sign up for anything or do another run. Um, right now in Texas, we have a late winter all the time. And I hate running in the cold. I had to run in the cold for Thanksgiving. You know, I just hate it. So I'm going to kind of wait until it starts to warm up a little more, but not too much. And I think I'm just going to do a lot of running, you know, the 5Ks and the 10Ks before it gets to the 100 degree weather, though. So I'm going to be doing a lot of running and say like May, June, somewhere around that time. So, but yeah, guys, I just wanted to give you all a little review on this and I'm going to be making a lot more videos here in the next few days. I just launched one today. It was this kind of simple video, guys. It was just kind of like a workout that I just wanted to catch up on some stuff and that I missed on that whole week. Like I said, my weeks haven't been that great for working out. And it was just a little workout, went in, hit some chest, and I think it was shoulders. But, yeah, support that video, guys. And, like I said, guys, if there's one thing that I would say pick up right here, well, I would say two, guys. For one, these, I mean, come on. They taste amazing and super cheap. And the next thing I would say is the Strong Greens, guys. These things are amazing. If you want to have natural energy, if you want to stop drinking your energy drinks, uh, like Monster, Red Bull, and stuff like that, that's the way to go right there. Um, I'm only down to like drinking one of those a day. I was drinking like two or three. So this has really helped. Uh, it's helped my stomach feel better and stuff like that. Feel more clean, more energized. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm, I think the next one video I'm going to make, I'm going to make an update on the garage gym. Got it cleaned out a little bit. Um, I did get a few little more things. But I'm going to kind of show that to you, show you the progress where we're at on that. And I think that's it, guys. You know, I hope you all have a, a blessed day. And also, I want to kind of talk about on the next video, too, why I went to Guns and Iron as my, you know, my name now and not just my basic name. So I'm going to kind of go over that, too, on the next video, too. So I'm out, guys. And, you know, stick with me, guys. We're going to make this an awesome video and, you know, series, uh, 2020 cuts. So I just kind of want to give you all a breakdown of what I'm eating, what I'm doing in the morning for lunch and stuff like that. Dinner time, I kind of eat what I want. Nothing like fried or super bad, but, you know, I'm not as picky because, like I said, I still got like a hundred and what is it? About a hundred carbs I can still take in. So 100, 120 carbs. So I really don't have to be too picky on it. Just make sure it's clean food that I'm eating. So, but all right, guys, I'm out. And I'll see you all in the next video. Later.